Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or just welcome if you're new here. I hope that you are all doing well, um, or at least as well as can be given the current state of the world. Yeah, the news coming out of Lebanon yesterday of what happened there uh, is really just quite devastating. And my heart goes out to the people who are there, who are struggling. It's, it's really hard to hear. Um, in case you'd like to learn more or find some ways that you can help out, I will place some links in the description box below. So I encourage you to go and check those out. Um, even just pause this video right now, you can come back to it after. Um, scroll down, click the link, and see if there's any ways that you can donate if you're able to, or support the cause in other ways. Yeah, 2020 has been an interesting year, um, to put it one way. It's been challenging for a lot of us, I think, in similar ways and in different ways. Um, I know that I've been finding it challenging, and as much as I think it's important to stay informed and, you know, pay attention to the news, I also think it's important for us to take a break because it can be quite draining. So one of the ways that I have been coping um, is through creating content both here on YouTube and on my blog and on Instagram. Yeah, having that creative outlet is a really nice way for me to kind of take my mind off of things and I really enjoy it and I hope that you guys are enjoying what I'm putting out there as well. And yeah, on the flip side, you know, another one of the things I do to cope is um, watch a lot of content. So I love just sitting down and watching YouTube. It really helps to take my mind off of things for a little while. And so I hope that maybe today's video can help do that for you as well. So with that said, um, the topic of today's video is how I organize my closet using an app called Stylebook. So one of the questions that I get asked a lot on my blog is how I create those capsule wardrobe or wardrobe edit images that I share in my seasonal wardrobe edits and then share to Pinterest. So this app Stylebook is one of the pieces that I use to do that in combination with a web app called Canva. So hopefully this is going to help answer that question for you today. I'm going to show you exactly how I organize my closet, how I upload pieces of clothing to the app, um, how I create and style looks, uh, how I create my seasonal capsule wardrobes, and yeah, just kind of give you an overview of this app because it's worked really well for me and has really helped me keep my closet organized and minimal and help me keep a handle on what items I have, what items I'm getting a lot of wear out of, what items maybe I'm not getting so much wear out of, and maybe it's time to rethink and see if I can donate or consign. And yeah, I should also mention that I'm not sponsored by Stylebook um, to do this video, so this video is not sponsored at all, um, but I am now a partner um, with Stylebook, so the link below is an affiliate link, and if you do decide to try out the app and purchase it, then I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you. But in all honesty, I purchased this app myself probably like between five and ten years ago, and have been loving it and only recently became an affiliate with them when the founder reached out to me and asked if I wanted to partner so obviously I said yes because <laughs> I really like the app. Um, yeah, so I do love the app. Everything that I'm going to tell you is just my honest opinion and I'd probably be making this video anyway even if I wasn't an affiliate with them so just keep that in mind. Um, as far as I know the app is available on iOS only right now. Uh, it would be great if they had an Android version. Um, I might ask the founder about that. Um, and see if that's something that's kind of on the roadmap for them. Um, but for now, um, I use it on my iPad, um, which is nice because it's got a bigger screen. You can use it on your phone as well, but I find it a little bit difficult to kind of see um, when the pieces are so small. And also, when you're adding clothes and you kind of have to manually erase the background, it's a little bit um, easier to do it on a big screen on a tablet like this. Um, so, I'll just go ahead and start it up. Okay, so when you first open the app, um, you get a little welcome screen. So I'm just going to go to my closet, and here you kind of see an overview of all of the different categories in my closet. Um, and you can categorize your closet any way that you like. Um, I've got it separated into tops, bottoms, dresses, which includes um, jumpsuits, um, outerwear, shoes, bags, and then accessories, so things like scarves and hats and sunglasses and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you if you edit here, you can add a folder. Um, you can delete one. Um, so within each folder or category, I also have subcategories. So within tops, for example, you'll see here I've got it um, further narrowed down into the different categories of shirts that I have. Um, you don't have to do it like this. I'm a little bit um, 
it's my Virgo side. I just really like being super organized about it and kind of categorizing everything neatly. Um, and it's really easy for me as well when I'm creating looks to then find the exact item that I'm looking for. I don't have to look through so many things. One thing that I should also mention while we're on this screen is um, you might be looking at the number of items and thinking like, wow, that's actually quite a few. And if you've watched my previous videos, you might know that I recently decluttered my wardrobe and got my wardrobe down to uh, just over 80 pieces, I think, is where it's sitting at now. Um, before that, it was well over 100. So yeah, I've minimized it quite a bit. Um, and the way my wardrobe works is I kind of have a fuller wardrobe of those 80 pieces that include all of my clothing for year-round wear. So all of my seasonal items from winter boots to summer sandals, um, that's all part of my wardrobe just because I do live in a part of the world where we get all four seasons of the year. Um, it's definitely cold and snowy in some or in winter, sorry, and it's definitely hot um, and dry in summer and we get rain and wind and everything in between in um, spring and fall. So my wardrobe really does have to account for all of those different um, seasons that we get. Um, and I also do like a little bit of variety as well. It's kind of nice when the season changes to go in and kind of shop my closet again, rediscover old favorites, pull those out, um, and just have a little bit more options for things to wear um, so that I'm not constantly getting tired of rewearing the same thing over and over. And so when I do my seasonal capsule wardrobes or wardrobe edits, what I do is um, using my Stylebook app, I take a subset of my closet and take that out for the season and they usually end up being around 40 or 45 items per season so yeah that's kind of how my wardrobe works for me i found it's worked really well keeping me from shopping excessively as i used to it definitely helps me get more use out of the clothing that i already have and yeah it's just kind of a way for me to play with my wardrobe try different things and yeah, it's just a system that's worked really well for me for the last two to maybe three years since starting my whole capsule wardrobe, simple living, minimalism journey. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll start by just giving you a little tour um, of my wardrobe in the app, and then I'll kind of show you how I do looks, how I add pieces, how I do my capsule wardrobe, and then some other kind of cool features um, that you might be interested in using if you decide to try the app yourself. Um, so let's just go to all items and tops so you can see everything that I have here. I've got some t-shirts, um, some longer sleeve tops, my button-ups, and then some sweaters and cardigans. And I've got a very um, kind of minimal color palette. There is a little bit of color in there with kind of like those rust tones. Um, I do have this one emerald green shirt which I actually made out of the fabric. Um, that was left over from making those pillow covers, which I also did a video on, <laughs> if you're interested, um, for the pillow covers, not the shirt. Um, <clears throat> then in bottoms, um, yeah, pretty simple. I've got quite a bit of denim. Um, I'm a big pants person. I enjoy wearing just a t-shirt or a plain top and a pair of jeans. That's kind of my uniform. Um, I have a couple wide leg options, some tapered trousers, and then three pairs of shorts. Um, which this week I'm actually styling on Instagram as part of my summer style series. Um, so I'm doing a week in shorts and I'm trying to get a little bit more wear out of those because I really only ever reach for them in summer when it's super hot. Um, I'm not super comfortable in shorts. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to find a way to incorporate them into my wardrobe this season and if not I might um, rotate them out. So we'll see. Um, then I've got my dress category. So I've got some shirt dresses. Um, some kind of maxi dresses, summer dresses, um, one evening dress with kind of those mesh panels and sleeves which I bought years and years and years ago and it's honestly still just going so strong. Um, anytime I have like, if I used to have like a work function or like a Christmas party or something like that, that's just my go-to dress. It just works for everything. It's great. Um, and then some jumpsuits as well. Uh, I have my outerwear, so I've got some jackets, like lighter jackets, raincoat, that sort of thing, trench coat, and then some more heavier duty kind of winter items, um, some wool coats, a parka, and then my blazers as well. And then in shoes, uh, I've got some sneakers, um, some kind of slip-on casual shoes, sandals, um, boots. Uh, one pair of heels. I'm actually on the hunt for a pair of black heels. Um, I don't really have anything that kind of fits that bill in my wardrobe. 
um, bags. These are all the bags I have. I've got some side bags, um, some totes, and then one really old backpack, which I actually don't get much use out of um, nowadays, but I'm kind of hanging on to it because it was really expensive and I don't really want to let go of it because it's one of those pieces that I feel like I know if I do let go of, I'll instantly want to wear it and like regret it. So yeah, just kind of hanging on to that one for now. And then all of my accessories. And I think when it comes to adding items, like you don't need to include all of this detail, like belts or watches, unless you want to. Um, I use these pieces mainly when I'm styling up looks for my seasonal capsule wardrobes and then posting them on my blog. Um, just because it's kind of nice to add like a couple accessories to the look to see how I would style it. Um, but in terms of like wardrobe tracking and tracking your own wares and stuff like that, I don't think you would have to go this far. It's up to personal preference for sure. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take a look at my looks. Um, and again, you can have different categories. So I used to have a whole bunch of categories in here going back to when I started using the app, but I've cleaned it out recently. Um, a lot of those older looks had been using clothes that I have since consigned or donated, um, so I don't have them anymore, so there was no use in kind of hanging on to them. Um, so this goes back as far as summer 2019, although as you can see I don't really have many items in there. Um, I like to just like kind of keep my app cleaned out and only looking at what I'm currently wearing. So if we go into summer 2020 for example, um, here's a look at some of the looks that I've put together. And basically what I do to come up with these looks is I take my iPad and I sit in front of my laptop and I open Pinterest on my laptop and I scroll through my style boards on Pinterest. And then as I'm scrolling through, if I see an outfit on Pinterest that I like and that I think I could recreate using pieces from my wardrobe, then I add a look um, into my style book and save it. And that's kind of how I come up with all my outfit inspiration that you see me wearing outfits on Instagram and on my blog. That's just kind of my process. Um, and it works really well and it keeps me getting use out of the pieces in my closet that I have instead of constantly looking for new things to wear time and time again. So um, to create a look, you just go to the little plus button at the top right and then you go down here to clothing and then you can add whatever you want. So maybe I'll just do a quick little t-shirt and you can like drag with your finger around and pinch um, to resize. And then let's just throw in my favorite pair of jeans just because. And I'll also just add a pair of sneakers just for the perfect basic look. And that's really all it is. Then you click save. And now as you can see, it's in my wardrobe. And I don't know why it always appears as the second one, but anyway, I'll just move it over to the first one as it's the most recent. Um, so yeah, it's super easy to catalog looks this way. You can just create a whole bunch of looks and just save them here and just keep them for inspiration. One thing you can also do is track which looks you're wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'll do more on that later when we get into like the different kind of features that this app has because it does do wardrobe tracking and counts per wear and costs per wear. So yeah, it's really easy to do that. And then you can categorize your looks however you like. So you can create looks for a vacation, you can create looks for a season, you can create looks based on different types of events like work looks or going out looks, evening looks, daytime looks, brunch looks, um, yeah, whatever kind of floats your boat and whatever works for you with your wardrobe. Um, so just going down the menu on the left, you can also save inspiration. Um, so I think this is a category or a place where you would save like images from Pinterest if you want to download them onto your phone or tablet and then save them in your Stylebook app. Um, since I do use Pinterest um, so heavily and just save all my ideas there, I don't actually use this feature. So you can see there's no categories, but it's kind of nice to have it in there if you did want to save any outfit inspiration um, all in one place. Um, this is also your calendar. So as you can see, I don't actually use this. Um, it's totally empty, but this is where you would add um, looks or clothing that you've worn that day and then be able to track your wares. So if you were trying to see how many times you've worn an item, if you're trying to do 30 plus wares, or if you're just trying to track um, how much a certain item costs per wear, you could do that by tracking your outfits here. And I don't know why I don't use this feature. It's super useful. Um, I think especially right now with quarantine, um, 
just staying home, I wear a lot of the same thing over and over again, so I kind of know what my favorites are, what I'm getting a lot of wear out of, what I'm not, um, and I don't really feel the need to track it in here, but it's something that I definitely should do moving forward. Um, I've just been kind of lazy about it. Um, but yeah, I really like the feature and I think it's great um, for anyone who's trying to track what they're wearing and just kind of see what they get the most wear out of, maybe get a better sense of your personal style. And then we have packing lists. So these are lists that you can use, um, for example, if you're going on a vacation, um, you could say, oh, these are the 10 items that I want to pack. And it'll also actually give you a checklist as well, so when you're packing, you can just click start packing and then you can go through and tap all the items and make sure that you've packed them, um, which is super handy for packing. But I use this function in another way as well, and this is actually how I do all of my capsule wardrobes um, and how I set aside the items that I want to use for that. So if I just scroll down to the bottom to kind of the most recent ones, um, we'll look at my summer 2020 capsule wardrobe, which as you can see has 45 pieces of clothing. And I just go into the clothing here, and this is where you see my entire capsule wardrobe. And I love looking at my wardrobe like this. Um, it's just so satisfying to be able to see my entire capsule, um, to just kind of know what pieces are in there, to get a good sense of the color scheme that I'm going for. Um, maybe take a look and assess if there's any gaps or um, anything that I'm just not getting too much wear out of. So yeah, this is really the start of how I create my capsule wardrobes um, seasonally, or my wardrobe edits seasonally, is I uh, go in here, I create a packing list, so let's just do that here. I'll just name it packing, um, and then you go into clothing, and you just click the plus button at the top right again, and you just add whichever items you want to include. Just add a few, and there you go. So it just organizes your pieces in your wardrobes in a different way so that you can have a look at it. Um, if you do want to do kind of a similar structure to how I do my wardrobe, um, where you do seasonal edits and kind of take pieces out and kind of portion those off for a season, this is the perfect tool to use for that and I absolutely love it. It's really changed the way that my wardrobe works as you can tell and I think I shop a lot less and get a lot more wear out of my wardrobe because of it. You can also add looks to a packing list, so if you are going on vacation and you're bringing certain things um, and you want to make sure that they all kind of mesh well and that you're going to get a lot of wear out of them and use out of them on your vacation and that you're not bringing any dead weight, you can add looks to your packing list and keep it kind of organized that way and while you're on your trip you can have inspiration so if you don't know what to wear for a certain day, then you can take a look at the app and say, oh yeah, I've got this um, outfit, I'll wear that today. Yeah, same thing goes for my wardrobe edits. This is where I store all of the looks for my seasonal capsule wardrobe. Um, I'm not sure if I actually added them for summer. No, I didn't. So basically what I would do is I would go into my summer 2020 packing list and go to looks and just click the add button. And then as you can see, all of my look categories now come up. So I'll just go into summer 2020 and just add all of the looks that I want to include in this capsule. Um, it'll also tell you, which is a really useful function, if you're trying to add looks that have pieces of clothing that aren't in your packing list, um, so that you might want to pack them. So I'll just skip that, and there you go, I've got some looks in my summer 2020 packing list as well. Um, so that's really it for how I create my seasonal capsule wardrobes and kind of organize my closet. Like I said, the other piece of the puzzle for those actual images that I post on my blog and share on Pinterest with my capsule wardrobes is a tool called Canva. So that's a web app. It's very similar to Adobe InDesign if you've ever used that before. It's kind of like a desktop publishing software where you can create images and graphics and Instagram posts. And that's how I create those graphics. So I just make an infographic. I take all of the images from my closet for a certain um, capsule wardrobe or wardrobe edit, put them on Canva, and then organize them into that nice kind of infographic that ends up going on my blog and being shared to Pinterest. So that's how I do it. Oh, the other thing I'll show you is how to add pieces of clothing to your wardrobe. So um, I do have a new skirt which I recently purchased from my local consignment shop that I need to add. Um, so basically what I do is, um, for most pieces in my wardrobe, I try to find an image online and the exact image if possible. There are some brands who do a really good job of, um, when they post a product online, they show it both on a model and then do a flat lay photo of it. And so normally what I do is I grab that flat lay photo 
and I'll use that photo to put it into my closet. Um, just because those photos look so professional, they're really well lit, and um, most of the time they're on a good background so that it's very easy to separate the background from the image. Sometimes I will also, if I can't find the exact piece, just kind of do a Google search and see if there's anything similar that I could use. And if that fails, then I will take my own photo. And what I try to do is just lay it flat um, on kind of a contrasting surface. For the most part, the only kind of open and well-lit space I have in our little apartment is a little space in the kitchen, kind of living space. And our floor, I'm not actually sure what the material is. It's not wood, but it looks like wood. And so it's got this grain to it in kind of a pattern, so it actually doesn't work very well as a background because if you have any sort of similar colors in the piece of clothing that you're trying to take a photo of, it will pick up those colors in the background and think it's part of the clothing. So um, I do have to kind of manually edit um, a lot of it, which you'll probably see in a second when I go to add it. So yeah, trying to find a photo online is probably the best route and what I would recommend, but you can also take your own photos if you'd prefer or um, if you can't find a similar image anywhere else. So, um, to add an item, you just go down to the very bottom left and click plus item, and I'll do add clothing. And I'll do choose photo from album, and I'll go to all photos, and I'll just use the photo that I took. Um, so as you can see, there's a little slider along the bottom that says adjust to remove background, and you can slide that up or down, and it will slowly remove part of the background. Um, and as you can see, this skirt um, is kind of this corally beige pinky color, and it is a little bit similar to what we have going on in the floor, um, just kind of a similar like beigey brown tone. Um, so I don't think it's going to work to just auto um, remove the background. So then what I have to do is go down here to the bottom right and click manual edit and then you have three little options you can either click move and that allows you to move around your photo and zoom out or in if you want um, you can tap which basically if you tap a portion of the photo it'll remove um, everything that kind of fits what you've just tapped so it'll kind of grab all of those colors that are similar and remove those for you. So actually tapping didn't do a super bad job there. I might just undo that because I think it took a little bit out of the edges of the skirt. And when you're tapping you can also use the slider to adjust the strength. So if I slide it over to the negative sign then it's going to be a little bit less um, strong when it grabs the colors that are similar. So it'll grab fewer um, if that makes sense. So let's try tapping again, and as you can see it's just kind of removing similar color families um, and kind of getting rid of that background, um, everything that kind of fits the same bill as what I'm tapping. So this is actually not working too badly, so I might just tap a little bit more and just kind of get rid of all these little bits on the outside. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop there and then use the last tool which is the eraser. So first thing what I'll do is I'll move in, just so I can see exactly what I'm doing. And then I'll pick up the eraser, and I like to go really big with the eraser just so I can see exactly what I'm doing um, while I'm on my tablet. And then you just hold down and drag to erase um, anything that's left over. And you can get really close up to the edges just to kind of clean everything up and make it look um, really seamless. And this can be quite time consuming, so um, if you haven't used the app before and you're faced with um, uploading all of the images of your closet at once and you can't find similar images online, they're a little bit quicker to just kind of upload and remove the background from and you have to take all of your own photos, um, it's definitely a time investment. So <laughs> just know that. Um, but once you do get that kind of initial step out of the way and you have your entire closet uploaded, um, even if you do add a few things here and there over time, it's definitely not as tedious as that first upload will be. So it does take a little bit of time in the beginning, but you only have to do it once and then you're good. Oops, I think I took a little bit there, so I'll just clean that up. Oops. And you can always, if you make a mistake with the eraser, go back and undo like what I just did there. Um, pro tip is to 
not erase too much at once because if you do a really good job of erasing a bunch of stuff and then at the very end make a mistake then you have to undo it and it'll undo your entire last step so then you have to go back and re-erase all of that so kind of just do a little bit at a time this is definitely where doing it on a tablet comes in handy because um, it's quite a big screen I'm sure if you have a tablet with a pen as well this would be really easy and that looks pretty good so I'll save all my changes and save it into my skirts category and now it's part of my closet so yeah every time you have a new item that's all you need to do to add it um, just take a photo find a photo online and then just upload it to the app and remove the background and then you can start including it in looks and packing lists or capsule wardrobes or whatever you want to do with it. Okay so the last thing I'm going to show you are some of the other features included in this app. Um, so there are some style stats um, and I haven't played around in here too too much so I'm not super familiar with this. Um, but it'll tell you things like how many items you have so mine's showing 111 um, I think that's because I have um, quite a few accessories like watches and things um, included in this app which I don't really count as part of my capsule wardrobe um, or wardrobe edit. Um, I tend to leave out categories like smaller accessories, jewelry, um, lounge wear, sleep wear, active wear, that sort of thing. So those don't really factor into my overall wardrobe count of what I wear on a day-to-day -day basis, um, but that's just the number of items that I have uploaded to my style book. Um, it also gives you a little color wheel which is kind of fun, so um, when you're adding an item, actually I'll just go back to that skirt that I just added, um, you can go down to the little pen button and edit certain things about the item which will factor into the stats. So I can go down here and choose a color um, it's kind of like a coral pink. I don't see anything that's a hundred percent the same. So I think what I'm going to do is go with this kind of reddish color because um, that's really the color that it is in person. So now it's got that color tag on it. You can put the size in, you can put the season, you can put the brand, and then you can also add the price. So this is where you'd want to add prices for all your items and then track them if you wanted to understand cost per wear. So now you go to back, and I'll just go back to the style stats, and you can see that little color has now popped up in my color bar. And so that's kind of the overall color palette of my wardrobe. You can see there's a lot of black, a lot of white, a lot of kind of brown and beigey neutrals, quite a bit of blue, which comes from the denim, and then very few actual <laughs> kind of color colors, um, just a little bit of green and that pink from the skirt as well. So yeah, you can take a look at your wear history, um, cost per wear, you can take a look at your clothing by the purchase price, so your most and least expensive items. You can look at how many times you've worn something, um, like most and least worn, so you can get an idea of which items you're wearing the most versus which ones you're not getting much wear out of. Yeah, and then it can show, if you do have the stats included for every item, it'll show you a nice little graphic of how your closet looks on certain stats. So this is like my little color wheel, so you can kind of turn it and see the percentages of the colors in your closet, which is just kind of neat. It's kind of like something you can geek out about with your wardrobe if you're like me and just like to be super organized and kind of look at data. Um, so yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to show you about the app today. Um, I hope this answered some of your questions about how I do my capsule wardrobes or my wardrobe edits, and also just gave you a little bit of a tip on how to organize your closet if you're looking to try and minimize your closet, get more wear out of what you already own, maybe see what you're wearing more, see what you're not wearing as much so you can um, help yourself declutter a little bit. This app has really helped me with all of that so I couldn't recommend it more and I will leave a link to the app in the description box below in case you're interested in checking it out and trying it for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, maybe learned something new, um, got to take your mind off of things for a little bit. And yeah, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a like and also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more like this in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!